This video looks at some properties of estimator B, which estimates beta. So remember that B is equal to X transpose X inverse times X transpose Y. Now, the first thing we might be wondering is B unbiased. Is B an unbiased estimator for beta? So we want to check is the expected value of B equal to beta? So first thing we can do is just sub in what B is. B is equal to X transpose X inverse times X transpose Y. Now, one of our regression assumptions is that X is a constant. It's fixed. It's non-random. So whenever we have a constant, we can pull that out of the expected value. So this becomes X transpose X inverse X transpose the expected value of Y. Now, what is the expected value of Y? We know that our regression assumption is the expected value of Y is X beta. So X beta is our expected value of Y. So we're just writing that right in here. And we can get rid of these parentheses because we don't need them. And now we can see that we have X transpose X inverse and we have an X transpose X. So those two things undo each other. So we just end up with beta. So the expected value of B is indeed beta. Therefore, B is an unbiased estimator for beta. Okay, so that little mini proof is done. Now we can go ahead and look at the variance of B. We're wondering what is the variance of B? Let's again, just write down what B is. That's X transpose X inverse, X transpose Y. Now, when we have a constant, which in this case, X transpose X inverse, X transpose, that's a constant. And then Y is the only random variable in here. What we can do is we can pull out the constant and then we have to do the matrix analog of squaring it. So what we need to do is we need to write this as X transpose X inverse X transpose times the variance of Y times X transpose X inverse X transpose. And then we need to transpose the whole bit on the right. Okay, now let's just write down what the variance of Y is. We know that the variance of Y is sigma squared times the identity matrix because um, the regression assumption is that the epsilon is, remember, normal with mean zero and then variance sigma squared IN. And that means that Y also has variance sigma squared IN. So we can go ahead and write down sigma squared IN for the variance of Y. And then we can, again, just copy the rest of it down. And let's go ahead and do the transpose of this while we're at it. So the transpose of the square bracket stuff is X times X transpose X inverse transpose. OK, and having the identity in here, we don't really need that because multiplying by the identity just leaves what we started with. So we can take that identity matrix out. And we can move the sigma squared because that's a constant out in front. Okay, so now we have sigma squared X transpose X inverse X transpose X X transpose X inverse and transpose. Okay, so what we see here is we have something and it's inverse multiplied by each other. So these two pink squares cancel each other out and we're just left with sigma squared 
X transpose X inverse and then transposed. Okay, now let's think about this for a second. Um, X transpose X. So we know that X is N by K plus one. And we know that then X transpose is K plus one times N. So this gives us a K plus one by K plus one matrix. So X transpose X is a K plus one by K plus one matrix. That means also that X transpose X inverse will be K plus one by K plus one. And actually, the transpose of this is just the same thing as X transpose X inverse. So we can just simplify this down to sigma squared times X transpose X inverse. OK, so summarizing that, the variance of B is equal to sigma squared times X transpose X inverse. OK. So, so far we figured out that the expected value of beta, the expected value of B is beta, and the variance of B is sigma squared X transpose X. So now we can do one last thing. We can realize that beta is normal. So it helps to look at this one more time. So beta is equal to X transpose X inverse X transpose Y. And like we talked about before, the Y's are normal. And these X's are all just constants. And we know that a linear combination of normal random variables is also normal. So because we have Y is normal, then that means that beta, that B is also normal. So putting this all together, the distribution of B is normal with mean beta and variance sigma squared X transpose X inverse. All right, so in our next video, we'll talk a little bit more about the distribution of one of these components of B rather than the entire vector of B.